Hey guys, it's Julian. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. It's January 1st and I can't believe I am jumping right into the new year with a new series. So I just went over my whole Hoya collection and this new series, Julian's Collective, is definitely going to be a very fun one for me to do because I've never grouped up my plant families before and I just don't know how many I have of each of them. And after I did the Hoyas, I wanted to go ahead and follow up with the Peperomias. Although I do love all of my plant families, I think Hoyas and Peperomias are definitely one of my favorites to collect. And this is the first time I've ever seen my Peperomias ganged up together. It is uh, very windy and if you even notice in the background when, when I was filming for my plant awards, my grandma and I were freezing doing that awards ceremony because I don't know, it's just, it's very windy right now in Santa Monica. So. I have layers on. It is quarter after three and we have about an hour left of sunlight. So let's go ahead and start this video. If you guys enjoy my new series, Julian's Collective, let me know also down in the comments below what other family groups you would like to see of plant babies. I will try to get a bunch of them up at least before or while I'm in Egypt. So stay tuned for more episodes to come. Well, I know what I did with my Hoyas was I started from my first Hoya and then tried to work my way towards the current Hoya that I recently acquired in my collection. So let me see here. They're all looking at me like I've had them for a good minute now. So with my Hoya collection, what I tried to do was talk about my first Hoya I acquired in my collection up to my most current one. I'm going to try to do it with the Peperomia yeah, family. I think the first Peperomia I got was this guy right here. So this is the Putiolata. And I love this one. Kira and I got this at the same time in Las Vegas. I don't know. I want to say about two years ago. I have it in a planter that I got from Ross's. So I love this Peperomia and back then I didn't think I was going to get a huge Peperomia collection. When I acquired this plant two years ago, I didn't think I was going to have a big Peperomia collection but fast forward two years, here we are making collective videos. And what gravitated me toward this plant was just like the deep indentations and the striations in the leaves. This is such an interesting plant to have. Now it was a little bit fuller when I first got it but I mean, it's doing good. I know Kira's one is also doing good in her collection. There's a lot of new growth happening here. But for me, I want to say this is kind of a slow grower because I've had this plant now for two years and this is what it looks like. This is usually featured on either my coffee table in my home or on my wicker table. But I love this one and I know this is also very easy to propagate. You can just either take a clipping and then do water propagation or you probably could separate it. Uh, if you go ahead and get down into the root ball. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about this guy first. Let me know if you have this particular Peperomia and how big is yours. I got this one from Las Vegas and I don't think I've ever seen this particular Peperomia after that. So I'm glad I was able to pick this one up. I know I did probably get my other Peperomia that my grandma killed in my bathroom next but I don't have that one anymore. So this Peperomia, I do not have an ID on him. So if any of you guys know what Peperomia this is, let me know in the comments. Now, this is one of my most prized Peperomias. I picked this up, I want to say about two years ago in Las Vegas. And it was living in my bathroom on the top shelf for a while, I believe. If you watch my first bathroom tour, you'll see this guy living on the top shelf right now. It's been living in my patio in the last two months. I love this thing and sometimes you'll see it have little uh, blooms on it, rat tail blooms, but I don't see any right now. This is so, so cute. So this Peperomia, for the most part, it's doing pretty good. This is a planter that it's lived in full time ever since I got the plant. And this is probably a planter I got from Home Goods. And if you look here, there's some new growth happening. With the Peperomias, you have to be very careful because this is a succulent type plant. So you definitely don't want to overwater. But I do miss this thing twice a week. I'm going to have to give this guy a little cleanup. But for the most part, I see lots of new growth. With the Peperomias, if you look deep inside, in the center, there's a lot of new growth. But you don't want to overwater this because of its succulent type leaves. And once you overwater it, you can't save the plant. So... This probably got, you know, damaged by the rain a little bit, so I don't really water it too much nowadays, especially during the winter time. But I mean, I love the new growth here. So if any of you know the ID on this one, I just, I love this one a lot. And it's just one of my favorite Peperomias. And I think 
this peperomia got me into wanting to collect peperomias. I like go through different nurseries to do my come with me's and I see how many cool peperomias there are. Like I'm just attracted to all of them. You'll see in my collection videos, like the plants, they all look different, you know? So like say for instance, this guy right here, I'll bring him up close so you can see. This is my peperomia scandens. I'm trying to think where I got this one from. I want to say, I think I got my peperomia scandens from Pasadena Rose Bowl. And look at him. He's just so, so cool. He's living in this planter and doing so well. And if I can find this planter on Amazon, I'll definitely put it in my Amazon store if you guys are interested. I have two of them. And what I love about this peperomia is that it trails. And looking at my collection now, this is the only trailing peperomia I have. And it's doing so good. Let me know if you guys have this particular peperomia. And if you guys are interested in any babies from this, I probably could take a few babies from here and not damage the plant. So let me know. I love this one so much and it'd be cool to propagate from the mother plant. I've never done it before and there's so much new growth. So I guess this is probably one of my most prized peperomia because it's a trailing one and my only trailing one in my collection. I'd be interested to see if there are more trailing peperomias that I come across uh, as I film content for my channel. I want to talk about my Otusi folias and this one I probably had for about two years now. Kira and I got these from our local garden center in Las Vegas. I probably got these two here at the same time. Now, as you can see, the Obtusi folias, they can look a little different from each other, even if it's variegated. Like this one has a little bit more variegation on the top. And I love that leaf right there. How cute is that? This is a pretty, e I mean, peperomias for the most part, Obtusi folias are so, so easy. I'll talk about a little bit more finicky peperomias in a second. I highly suggest the Obtusi folia. So as you can see, this is what they look like side by side and I could easily propagate by separation and you can even propagate it by putting it into water. There's several ways to propagate off of this guy here. You can do it by separation or by water propagation. So I love these. These are my all green ones. I have one more all green one that was a stowaway I'll talk about in a second but these are my smaller obtusifolias. Here is another peperomia obtusifolia. And this is my marbled variety. And I got this as a free plant from my West Hollywood haul. Just look at the leaves. I mean, how stunning is that? I'll put this one side by side so you can see. This one has a little bit of marbling here. But for the most part, I mean, I just wanted it. Even if I have the plant, I just wanted another one. So I have it in a Daiso Japan planter. So probably out of all of the varieties that I have of peperomias, I think the Otusi folias is the biggest ones that I do have of variations. But let's go ahead and talk about the ripples. Let's talk about my peperomia caparata. So this is my ripples and I love these guys. As you can see, they're slightly different in shades. This is my newest one right here. They both live in my bathroom because they're very finicky. I have this one in a plant that I got from Orchards when they were open and then this one is from Daiso Japan. With these peperomias, again, it's that succulent type of plant so you don't want to overwater. This thing loves humidity and the diffused lighting in my bathroom so it does well. My original one that my grandma killed if you watched my first bathroom plant tour, it was very big and lush and it loved the bathroom so I'm kind of interested to see how these do. Um, and moving forward into 2019 but let me know if you have these guys they come in so many different shades and I just love them so much I love the dimension in the little leaves and I think they're so cute so these live in my bathroom another peperomia that lives in my bathroom is my watermelon and this guy it's like a hit or miss for me sometimes I feel like it's doing bad because it was fuller and then sometimes I feel like it's trying to get itself back to where it used to be it's it's trying to figure himself out but if you look here there's a lot of new growth so with peperomias you just have to look really good inside and see the little growth half watermelon vibes on this is so so cute and I think out of all of the peperomias I have I think I love this variegation the most just because it's so unique but I think they all bring different different things to the table so here's my current status of my watermelon peperomia Kira's one is in my greenhouse and we'll see what happens to that one but 
at least I have this one and it's still alive. I think I've had this now for two years. Here's another Peperomia that I've had now almost a year. March makes a year. And this is from my Come With Me to Lakewood. So definitely a little road trip from where I live, maybe about 30 miles away. And when I found this Peperomia, I was like, first I was shocked. I've never seen a Peperomia with little windows and I just had to have one. So this Axillaris is doing pretty good. I mean, it's crazy looking, but I love these succulent type Peperomias and the little windows are to die for. I'm really interested to see what it's gonna look like at the end of the year because when I first got it months ago, it didn't look like this and then now it's just growing crazy. I definitely love the vibes of this one. It's so unique and different. I see there's one guy right here that I'll go ahead and propagate, but this is a very fragile peperomia. It's one, it's like almost like a donkey's tail where once you plant it, you don't want to touch it because all of the little windows will just fall off and I don't want that. So it's living in a Daiso Japan planter and this is the permanent home for it. I don't want to touch it too much, but let me know if you've ever seen this peperomia in person, the axillaris, I think it's so, so cute. So here's another peperomia that is a succulent type and this is the graviolins. This particular one is very finicky. Again, it's like a donkey's burrow's tail where you want to plant it and not touch it. I know Kira was propagating a bunch. And I, yeah, I've had this now for about two years. Probably I got this from Las Vegas. It's in a planter from Ikea. I probably would want to just take all of my planters like this eventually out of my collection because I don't have any holes in it, but it's doing good. What I like about this particular peperomia is not only if it's that it's a succulent type of peperomia, but just like the different shades of green and red. So if you look here, it's red, but if you look at the top of the leaf, it's green. So I just love the variations of this. I love when plants have two different colors on the top and bottom. This thing lives on the top shelf of my patio shelfie with all the rest of the succulents. And I just love how there's like that one peperomia on the top amongst the rest of the succulents. But how cute is this plant? Very quirky and interesting from everything else just I have. Just kind of piggybacking off of my obtusi folias that I talked about. This is just my stowaway. And it's doing pretty good. It's in an ice cream planter. There's some new growth happening here. And I'll show you where this plant came from when I bought it. And you just never know. I love when there's like a random plant that piggybacked off of another plant. So it was living in the nursery planter of this particular plant. So it's very random. I was like, what are you doing? You're green and you're not variegated. So it was like a little bonus. This is probably one of my most prized peperomias. As you can see, it just takes up the whole frame. And I'm propagating from it. So if you guys are interested, you probably can take maybe one or two more. And I have one propagating on my potting bench, which I did for my... Planting with Julian propagation videos. This is one of my most prized plants. And I am in love with this thing. The variegations and the bloom. Right away when you enter my patio space, you see this right away. It's definitely a showstopper. And I just love just the way how it's growing out of this terracotta planter. So here's my beautiful variegated obtusifolia. Love this. Here's my probably heaviest one out of all my peperomias. And this is Ruby, my red edge peperomia that was featured in my 2018 plant awards. Um, I am propagating from this one. I actually sold a baby off of it So today. anytime I go through my collection and I see a loose leaf like this, I never throw it away because you can propagate this. You can do it in a Ziploc method, which I've featured on my channel before. And I'll go ahead and I'll do propagation videos, maybe one or two so that it can do its thing while I'm away in Egypt, but don't throw out the leaves. You can go ahead and have a little experiment with them. Towards the end of the week, I'll do another propagation video, but they're very easy to propagate either by leaf cuttings or just separation, or you can just stick the stem in water and it'll give you water roots. So here is what she looks like. And again, she was featured in my plant awards video. She's so stunning. And I got Ruby at the same nursery that I got my uh, Peperomia axillaris in Lakewood. I actually want to take my grandma to that nursery because she's never been there before and I haven't been there since March. When I went to a film that come with me, I fell in love with that nursery. So I would definitely want to go back because now that I think about it, I even got my philodendron panda there, which is also part of my plant awards. So I'll definitely have to go back to that nursery. If not before Egypt, then after Egypt. I'm trying to do so many things before Egypt, guys. But anyway, here's my most prized peperomia in my collection and the heaviest one i love my red edge and she's in a planter that i got i think from home goods 
Okay, so we have a few more peperomias to talk about here. Another prized peperomia, and this is my peperomia raindrop. This was my birthday plant. I love this thing so much. Look at this cute little leaf here. Like, how cute is that? The wind is intense. It is so cold. It's definitely a dream plant for me for 2018. I'm so glad I was able to buy it in person because I rarely see this plant. I think when I purchased this plant, it was the first time I've ever seen it in person. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and treat myself for my birthday. So I haven't had this plant for very long, about four months now. So I'm kind of interested to see what it's gonna look like moving forward into the year. But love this guy a lot and I just, I'm, obs I'm obsessed guys with this one. Like look at the cute heart, love it. This one has a piece of my heart for sure. I like, I can't get over it. This is one of my most prized plants in my collection and it's living in a terracotta planter. Here's another cool peperomia that I recently acquired towards the end of the year. This is my peperomia pixie lime. This is so cool. I got this with a come with me in one of my West Los Angeles episodes with Catherine and I'm, I'm in love. I seen this one in Arizona at one of my come with me's but I was like, you know, I'm gonna wait to see if I can find it in Southern California so I don't have to carry it on a plane. But this has so much growth. Like, took, take a look at it and it's like, I don't know. It is so cute and this lives on my bench in my patio and I'm kind of interested to see like what should I do? Should I take it out and put it into a bigger planter so that there's more growing space? I think maybe summertime I'll put it in a little slightly bigger planter and see what it does for me. But so far so good and I mean how adorable is the pixie lime? I love this one. I'm so glad I was able to get this in person. Okay, we are now down to the last two as the sun goes down and the wind gets more intense out here. This is one of my most prized peperomias. I catch me saying that a lot, apparently. This is my peperomia hope. These are two plants that I put together to make it a little bit fuller. I have it in a thrifted planter. This is a cute little thrifted sugar bowl that I got in Arizona. Drilled a hole in it. And these are two peperomia hope plants put together in one, so it was a little bit fuller. This was definitely on my wish list for a good minute. I know I seen this in a come with me in the Bay Area, but it was so expensive and I was like, okay, I'm gonna hold off and wait. And I finally seen and I finally seen it in Los Angeles and I scooped it up. But how adorable are these round shaped succulent leaves? I mean, they're so so cute. Love these so much. So it's probably one of my favorites, but you guys are all my favorites and they're like surrounding me. They're so cute. To wrap up my Pepper Romeo collection video, I'm gonna end on this note right here. This is my Pepper Romeo Happy Bean. And I recently got this for my $25 challenge haul in Arizona. And the Happy Bean is a pretty cool Pepper Romeo. So it has that Axillaris vibes where there's windows. And I think they're super, super cute. It's like really thin, thin windows on the top. Love these. So this currently lives on my shelf in my home and I have it in a thrifted planter that I got from the Bay Area about two, three, about three years ago. And the cool thing is I got this thrifted in one of my favorite thrift shops in Burlingame. And back then I didn't think I was gonna have a blue and white aesthetic and here we are fast forward three years i have a huge blue and white collection so that is going to wrap up today's episode of julian's collective featuring my peperomia family i i can't believe i have this much peperomias it is just the beginning i know i probably have a few more because i swear every time i walk into the patio it's like oh i have this peperomia i didn't even know so we'll see maybe i have a few more that i missed but I think for the most part, this is the collection and where it's at right now. I'm kind of interested to see how many more peperomias I acquire for 2019. I love all of them. And if you guys are interested in any of the babies off of these ones, I'll put them up for sale on my Planting with Julian Instagram or just reach out to me in a direct message uh, because if I can get a cutting off of it without hurting or damaging the look of the plant, I am always happy to go ahead and sell off a few to you This guys. was so fun for me. So if you guys want to see more collective videos, stay tuned. I'm going to probably do a few more before I leave for Egypt. And I definitely wanted to do the Hoyas and Peperomias first. And it's so cool to see where the collection is at. I've never seen my Peperomias ganged up together. So it's definitely a fun video for me. If you're interested in any of the babies, or babies off of these guys reach out to me in a direct message on planting with julin again any orders from now to the seventh will receive a complimentary free jade cutting from my tree 
Hope you guys enjoyed my second episode of Julian's Collective featuring all of my Peperomia babies. This was so much fun for me to do. If you guys want to see more and you're new, welcome to my channel. Hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified whenever I do an upload. I do daily videos on this channel and I am so excited to see where my collective series goes for this new year. And you can find more on my blog at ilovejulian.blogspot.com. Until next time, aloha from Santa Monica, California. Bye.